If you have a small dog, watch out for deer. Conservation officers received four reports yesterday alone of aggressive does stalking people out walking their dogs, even confronting them. And as CTV's Louise Hartland reports, they can do some real damage. Come on. It's the same daily walk Romeo Strasbourg and his 13-year-old Malty Poo Zipper have been doing since she was a pup. But yesterday, the duo had company. Of course, the dog is smelling and looking all around, and there was not a soul around. And then I thought I, I felt something, I heard something behind me, and I turned around and it was a deer. But three feet behind me, I could have turned around and grabbed its snout. The doe snuck up on Romeo and Zipper near the corner of Cumberland and Cedar Hill Crossroad. It was very close. I, shoo, go away, go away, but it wouldn't go away, so I started yelling at it. Five, six times it did that. And as I'm walking around, I keep yelling at it, and it keeps going away, but it keeps coming back. The deer followed Romeo and Zipper for a block and a half until he found refuge on someone's front porch. It went off the road and it followed me right up to the front door. So I yelled at it again and it went away, so I picked up some rocks. They had a display of rocks there. But he didn't need them. The deer disappeared. Start! Start! This is what could have happened. A doe protecting her newborn fawn attacks a nearby dog, stomping it repeatedly with its front hooves. Uh, they run up to it and then they just start stomping on it with those front feet just as fast as they can, as hard as they can. It happens here too. This time of year, does are aggressive, protecting their young. We've had many cases where dogs have been seriously injured. I think some have even uh, fatally injured by deer. Conservation officers got four reports of does stalking people with dogs yesterday alone, including one in Gordon Head where a man confronted a doe with a baseball bat. It's the dog they're after, but people uh, they're ambivalent towards. If it's a small dog, if they can pick it up, uh, move, move the dog away. And make some noise. If a doe is acting aggressively like that, guaranteed there is a fawn somewhere very close by. Come on. Romeo didn't see a fawn. Are you going to go for a walk with Zipper on that trail today? Not today, no. No, I'm going to give her about a week, then I'll go back again, because by that time she should have moved her fawn. An encounter that's forced him to change his daily routine after more than two decades. Louise Hartland, CTV News, Saanich.